In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to create WordPress websites using InstaWP. Some years ago, creating a WordPress website was a long and manual process. Back then, after setting up your server, you had to download WordPress from WordPress.org, upload it to your server, create a new database before you can finally install WordPress. Fortunately for us, over time, creating new WordPress websites has become easier. These days, with one-click automatic installation, you have your WordPress website up and running in no time. But if you're a professional WordPress developer like me, who is constantly working on multiple WordPress websites at any given time, let's say you're a freelancer, an agency, or a creator, you will eventually find yourself doing a lot of repetitive and time-consuming tasks over and over again. For instance, let's say you are testing a new feature on a particular website. For every iteration, you might need a particular theme, some set of plugins, and some demo content. In a case like this, for every test, you need to go through the process of installing the same theme, install and activate the same set of plugins, upload some demo content and all of that. What will happen is that you end up wasting a lot of time going through this same process again and again. But what if there was a way to automate all of these steps so that I can get everything done faster? That is exactly what you can do with InstaWP. InstaWP makes the entire workflow of developing, testing, and managing WordPress websites faster and way more easier. Following the same testing example I used earlier, with InstaWP, I can easily create a WordPress template with the required configuration, theme, plugins, and content that I need to run my test. That way, with each iteration of the test, all I have to do is to launch a new site with the template I created with InstaWP. And a new WordPress website will be created for me with my custom configuration and all the content I need to get out of the box. And this is just one example of the amazing things that you can do with InstaWP. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create new WordPress websites in seconds using InstaWP. And we're also going to explore some very interesting features on InstaWP that you are going to find super useful when working with WordPress websites. Over here on your website, you are going to see an overview of what InstaWP is all about and what this platform can help you achieve. Here it says, building with WordPress made easy. And InstaWP is being used by over 25,000 WordPressers and almost 700,000 sites have been created with InstaWP so far. And if we scroll down here, you are going to see some of the benefits of InstaWP build and deliver sites, create staging sites, build product demos, QA and automation, two-way synchronization, manage live sites, create recurring revenue, and sell your own templates. So aside from using InstaWP for your own personal purposes, you can also make money from this platform from stuff like selling templates and all of that. And if you scroll down here, you're going to see that they have a template store. You can either use templates from this store to create your website, or you can sell your own templates right here. And here are some popular companies that actually use InstaWP, including Automatic, Lendash, and the likes. With InstaWP, you get all your WordPress tools under one dashboard. And we're going to see that practically in a moment. Well, you can come back to the website homepage if you want to see all of these details for yourself. To start using InstaWP, the first thing we are going to do is to create an account. So go ahead, open a new tab in your browser, and then type in emmanueladam.com slash InstaWP. I'm going to leave this link in the description to make it easier for you. So you can just click the first link down in the description. That will bring you straight to the sign up page. And here you can either just enter your name, your email address, select your role, if you're a business owner, an agency, a hosting company, product company, or a freelancer, you select the one that is appropriate for you. Check I accept terms and conditions, and then go ahead and click on next step. But you also have the options to sign up with your Google account, your Facebook account, or your Twitter account. I'm going to use Google. Next step, you can select the plan that you would like to use. But if you're not ready to pick a plan right now, you can get started using InstaWP for free. What you just need to do is to check I just need a free account with temporary site. And that's going to allow you to set up a free account. And with a free account, you can create three active sites. You get 1000 MB of storage and can have up to one template. Or if you want to go with any of their pro plans, you can click on more plans to see all the different plans that they have. They have the starter plan, which is ideal for beginners, 
a personal plan which is best for freelancers, and a professional plan that is perfect for WordPress professionals. And they also have an agency plan here as well. And you can see the different features that you get under each of these plans. And you can start to pay either monthly or yearly, depending on the one that works best for you. But if you go with the yearly plan, you are going to enjoy two months for free. I will go with the professional plan, which will allow me to create up to 20 sites, 10 templates, 15 demo sites, and have up to 20 gig of storage space. Just go ahead and pick the plan that you would want to work with. And for each of these plans, you can see that you get a 15 days free trial. And here's an extra bonus for you. After you've picked a plan that suits you, here on the payment page, enter my coupon code, which is EA50. It's going to be in the description. If you use my coupon code, you are going to get an extra 50% discount for the first three months. So if you just created your new account on InstaWP, you can use my coupon code EA50 to get 50% discount for the first three months. Like for the professional plan that I have here, the price is supposed to be $24 per month, but with my coupon code applied, I'll pay just $12 per month for the first three months. So after applying the coupon code, enter your card details and click on sign up to complete setting up your account. And with that, you successfully created your free InstaWP account. Right now, let's go ahead and create our first site with InstaWP. I am going to use a professional account for myself, but even if you are using a free account, you'll be able to follow up with everything that I'm doing right now. So to create a new website from scratch on InstaWP, on that site, here you can just go ahead and click on add new site. Here you have three options. You can either set up a website from scratch or use any of the templates you've created. We are going to create our own template in a moment, or you can go to the template store and get the template that you can use for a website. Right now, we're going to create a website from scratch. You have the option to select the configuration you are going to use for this website you are about to create. Right now, it is set to default. You can create your own custom configuration. We're going to look at that also in a moment. And then you have some curated configurations here for multi-site, WooCommerce site, and DevStack. So let me use the default right now. And then you can also select the plugins that you would want to launch this website with. Here are some popular ones that you can pick, but you can also select plugins from different categories, let's say security. Uh, for instance, if I want to have only one security plugin um, installed on this website, I can just select it here. And then you can come over, select SEO plugins you need, social media plugins, speed, forms. Let's say for the forms, I would like to use WP forms. And the backup plugins, I would want to use probably Updraft Plus. For the page builders, I'm going to use Elementor, which is my favorite page builder. Once you've selected all the plugins that you like to use, you can then come over here and enter a name for your site. Let me just name this demo site, and it is going to be added to our InstaWP URL. And here you are going to see the version of WordPress you're using, the PHP version, and the server location. Usually, this default setup here will do just fine, but if you want to customize it, you can select the version of WordPress you want to use, the version of PHP, and the server location you want for this site. Next, you have this option to make the website you're about to create a reserved site. Now, by default, the website you create on InstaWP are temporary sites. They'll expire after a specific period of time. But if you don't want a particular website to expire, let's say you are going to be working with it for a very long period of time, you can check the reserve site. And once you have all of this in place, you can just go ahead and click on create site, installation in progress. This is going to take just a couple of seconds because I selected a number of plugins, but if I was not installing any plugin, then it would have happened instantly. But let's just give this a couple of seconds. All right, our new WordPress website is ready. Here's the URL, the username, and password that you can use to log into your admin dashboard. But you also have this magic login. And once I click on this, it will bring me straight to my dashboard. And if I click on visit site, you are going to see that we have a fully functional WordPress website with the 2024 theme right here. We didn't have to go through any long process. InstaWP just did everything for us automatically. And you can see that this website also launched 
with all the plugins I selected. If I come back to plugins, here are the four plugins I selected already installed and activated for me. From this point, you can proceed to start customizing your website. Launching a website from scratch with InstaWP is cool, but you can take it a step further by creating your own custom configuration for the website you are going to create. So if I click on my team and then click on configurations, this is the default configuration that we have, but let's say you want to work with a custom environment. You can create your own configuration by clicking on add new and then give it a name. Let me just use custom and then click on add. Now you can go ahead and select the version of WordPress you want to use. Let's say you want to work with version five, you can select that. And then you can also select the PHP version, the server location. Let's say I want a server in the UK. And if you're on the site, you create with this configuration to be exact site, you can check this. You can also set a logo. Now there are also some other stuff you can do on that PHP. You can set the maximum execution time, the maximum input time, and all of these. And if I come back to WordPress, here you can customize the wpconfig.php for all the websites you are going to create with this configuration. Let's say I want to have WP debug and it's scroll down, you can select the site language. If you are going to be working with multi-site, you can check this. And then for every new installation, InstaWP will automatically install and configure multi-site for you. And if we scroll down here, you can install plugins and themes. And to do that, we need to get the slug for the plugins or themes that we want to pre-install. So let me go back to the WordPress plugin directory, just to show you guys some example. So I'll click on plugins. And let's say I want to get Elementor. And this is it. And what you just want to do is to copy this part of the URL, basically the name most times, and paste it right here. And you can repeat this same process for all the other plugins that you would like to have. Let's say I want to use essential add-ons, copy the slug, and then come over, paste it here. So you can repeat the same process for as many plugins as you want. And you can also do the same for the theme. Let's say I want to have a particular theme for this configuration. Let me come over here and just search for Astra. And here is it. I'll copy the slug as well. And come over, paste. Yeah. So let's say we are good with this. Another thing you can do is come over to Faker. Let's say you want your WordPress website to launch with a specific number of posts, a specific number of pages, categories, tags, and all of that. You can enable this and then enter the number of demo posts you want, the number of demo pages you would like the website to have. And you can do the same for tags, for categories as well. And they also have this WooCommerce generator, which is very, very helpful because most times whenever I'm creating a WooCommerce website, I want to have some demo products that I can start working with. And this WooCommerce generator can make that very, very easy for you. So you can generate demo products that you can launch your website with. But once you have everything in place, I'll just save this. Now, if I want to launch a new website, I'll come back to site and then click on add new. Now, instead of using the default configuration, I'm going to select my custom configuration, whichever name you gave to your configuration, you're going to see it right here. And then I'll just go ahead and click on create site. And as simple as that, my new WordPress website is ready. Let me just close all of these other tabs and then use the magic login again. And here's my new website with all the configurations that I used. So you can see that right now, this website is using the Asuka theme which is the theme that I used for my custom configuration. So working with InstaWP is very convenient, makes everything easy for you. Now, if I need to create a new website with this same setup, all I need to do is to launch a new site with my custom configuration. Another very interesting thing you can do that will save you a whole lot of time is to create a template from the websites you've already created. Let's say this website that I have here currently, I can come over here and click on save template and then give the template a name. Let me say custom template and you can add a description as well. You can make it private or shared. 
And then if you want to be able to use it as an instant template, you can check this and then go ahead and click on save. Now, if I come back to templates, you are going to see all the templates that I have here. This template I just created is still in progress. And now the template is ready. You have a number of options with this template. You can edit it. You can enable Git deployment. Whenever you need to create a new website from this template, you can just come over here, click on this plus icon, and then choose whether you want to create a temporary site or a reserved site, and then click on create site. And all the new sites you are going to create from this template will have everything that the original website had. This way, you don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again. You just need to launch a new site with the template and everything is ready to go. If I come back to site again, here for each site, you can see that you have a number of tools. You can add tags to the different websites that you have, and this will help you with organization. Let's say if you have a bunch of websites right here, you can filter them based on tags, users, settings. And then here you have this auto login button. Once you click on it, it will take you straight to your WordPress dashboard. And then if you want to reserve a particular site, you just need to click on this reserve icon. If you want to turn a website into a template, you can just use the save template icon. And if I click on this three dots menu, you are going to see a lot of tools right here. You can create different versions of your site. Let's say if you make a change, and then later in the future, you don't like the change you made, you can revert back to a previous version. Then you have your PHP config. You can also view your website credentials. When I reach your website, you can also create commands. You can export your website um, as local WP. You also have some extra tools here, like database editor. And this will basically allow you to work with your database very easily. You don't have to set up PHP admin, and then you can view your website logs. They also have this code editor. With the code editor, you have the option to work with your website code base directly with VS Code, or you can open an editor right here on your browser, whichever option you prefer. You can basically come over here and try out all these features for yourself. You can also clone the sites that you have, or you can delete a specific site when you are done working with them. Let's say I want to delete this site. I can just copy the site URL and then confirm the URL here and then click delete. And the site has been deleted very easily. Basically, all the features you would need when developing and testing your WordPress website is available here on InstaWP. And once you are done working on your website here on InstaWP, you can just go ahead and migrate it to your live hosting. And they also have a plugin that will allow you to connect your live website to your InstaWP account. And that way, you'll be able to use their two-way synchronization feature to work seamlessly on your live website directly from inside your InstaWP account. Also, like I mentioned earlier, InstaWP is a very good way to make some money for yourself by selling your own templates. So if I come back to the template section, the template that I created here is a private template for my own personal use, but I can also create shared templates. So for instance, I can even convert this private template to a shared template just select shared and then click update. And now if I switch over to shared, I have the template that I created right here and I can go ahead and monetize this template very easily. So you can just turn on monetization and go to the setup step so that I can start selling your templates on inside of WP. Basically, you create a website and then you convert it to a template that you can sell. I don't want to make this video too long, but if you want me to create a more detailed video on how to monetize your templates on Insta WP, let me know in the comment section and I'll make a full video covering the monetization steps. You can also make money using your website as a service feature. I'll probably make a separate video covering how to use this feature. And if you're interested, just let me know in the comment section. And that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'll be here asking your questions. Also, let me know what you think about InstaWP in the comment section. And if you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Give this video a like. I really appreciate that. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead, smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.